everyone today we are going to learn to plot the error bars in origin lab or using origin lab okay here we have some data that we can see in this particular worksheet that is book 1 we will follow first plot this as scatter so here we have our data plotted now as we can see uh, the data points are decreasing with increasing x axis the y so first we will treat this data linearly so here we have our data that is that we have treated linear, linearly and now we will add error bar to this particular data so for this just we need to go to insert and error bars here in this particular option what we can see is the source of errors can be either percentage of data or standard deviation or the square root of the data we can we will try all the three first the percentage of data i will keep it as 5% and click okay as soon as i click okay here the error is calculated as 5% of the data so here we can see as 1 uh, 5% of 1 is 0.05 and similarly the 5% of each data point is calculated and is given in this particular column that is for errors and also the error bars that we can see here are here with 5% of each data point now we'll once again go to the data we'll plot it once again using scatter and here now we will add is uh, try to see the data or add the data using another technique that is error bars using standard deviation we are using the scaling factor as 1 okay once again what we have is we have the data with the standard deviation with scaling bar as 1 and here we can see the error bar in the data so here we have a fixed value so once we use the standard deviation we can fit it so here we have of a data similarly the final way in which we can have the error bars is by having we first plot this and now in this particular plot we will insert the error bars using the square root of square root of data so the square root of each data point will be given here here we have the square root of each data point and we can see the error bars in the third plot so depending on the type of error and type of our data we can have error bars of different types using the technique shown here that is by inserting the error bars and using the three ways in which we can add the error bars thank you for watching this video and also subscribe to our channel to watch more such videos thank you